Building the Houston Botanic Garden from scratch was no small task. Mel Glasscock and Susie were so instrumental in helping us think about what we wanted the Houston Botanic Garden to be. How would we bring people back time and again to see the garden in a different way each time that they came? He was so thoughtful about how to make this garden successful and truly impact the lives of our visitors. I thought a lot about uh, a botanic garden for Houston going back into the early 90s because Susie and I had traveled and seen botanic gardens and I guess we wondered why Houston didn't have one. We got involved with the garden uh, as part of our whole philanthropic outlook. It was always part of what we wanted to do. We just didn't know how to do it. And fortunately, uh, Nancy Thomas and a few friends had, uh, had uh, created the, uh, the route to get to a botanic garden. And, and through the efforts of a lot of people, uh, we were able to get to there. The Classicocks are native Houstonians, born on the bio Houstonians who have an innate understanding of the needs for their city and the responsibility to see that things get done. Susie mentioned to me that so many things she thought were D high. And I said, what does that mean? And she said, divine intervention. So I think maybe divine intervention has helped us all with this garden. <laughs> I don't think this garden would be here today, but for Mel and Susie. So when they joined the board, it was because Mel thought we were credible, and that helped us actually be credible in the community as well. When a donor came out that we had been trying to get out to the garden for a long time and didn't have any success, and he said that when he finally decided to come and see what this project was all about, it was because of a note that Susie had handwritten to him, and her words were so powerful and how much she believed in this, that that's really what made him believe that this was important to Houston. In 30 years, I hope that the people of Houston have accepted the garden as just a natural part of the city. It's not something new, it's not something different. It's just an essential part of, of, of our city, of our community. Um, I don't want it to be a surprise. It should be part of their life. We hope that they'll come many times and just to, to enjoy it and uh, relax. The garden's never finished. There'll be many phases. The culinary garden has their name on it, so the Glasscock name will live in this garden forever. Mel and Susie, on behalf of all of the visitors who come to the garden and the generations of visitors to come, we are incredibly grateful for your visionary courage, your passion for this project, your knowledge about how important this would be for Houston and all who come to visit, to learn to care about plants, their gardens, this garden, and our planet. Susie and Mel, I'm so glad that you have become a part of my life. I'm so grateful to you for, for being friends and encouraging other people to step up and do things they weren't even sure of that, that they would be capable of doing. I've been thinking about this garden for so many years, and you don't know whether to burst into tears or applaud, because it's, it was a long time coming, but here it is in reality. Mm -hmm.